I won't say I'm feeling 100%, but I feel much better than I did yesterday morning. So that's a great thing. And uh, today is relatively short. I should finish up after about seven hours of work today and have the afternoon free um, to relax and rest and, and have some time with Kaelin and Sunghee. So that will be good. Uh, hopefully at an early bedtime as well, and that probably will help also. But before that, I got another hero wad, a second one in a row. It's another big long hero wad today. I can't lie, I was hoping that it would be sunny for my run. Doesn't look like it, at least it's not raining yet, but uh, it is a little kind of overcast and chilly. Guess it's just time to suck it up and get it done. I felt pretty fast in the first round and uh, I was feeling good about everything but in the second round the full body fatigue from yesterday's workout just hit me it was like hitting a wall and everything slowed down from there my last round was my second fastest round and it makes such a world of difference having a target to go after having the touches time up on the board um, I knew how to pace myself to come in underneath that if I didn't have that score there guaranteed I would not have been as fast as what he did on his own yesterday uh, my pace had slowed down quite a bit by the fifth round and uh, I only picked it up again knowing that I could uh, get in just under his time if I did so it helps to have that to compare against and to get you through. What surprised me was how my forearms uh, were the limiting factor, not only for the rope climb, also in the push-ups. After the rope climb, my forearms were very tired. Of course, they were already tired from yesterday's squat cleans and all the rope climb demos I did yesterday. So when I went to bed last night, they were already a little bit sore. And I expect they'll be really fatigued tomorrow. Train to another state. Well, every person you can 